It's that perennial holiday question. Can I count on booze to kill the bugs in my homemade eggnog? Last year, we found the perfect lab to look into it. This year, Holiday Flare is a little sparser on the eighth floor of the Bronx building at Rockefeller University. The university is cutting back on decorations. But the interest in eggnog persists. Here's microbiologist Vince Fischetti. It's probably over 40 years now we make it every year. The recipe comes originally from Rebecca Lansfield, who is a famous scientist in this laboratory. And she initiated it making in the laboratory uh, before Thanksgiving and let it sit in the refrigerator until Christmas, and we all enjoy it for Christmas. It gets very smooth at Christmas time. So that means raw eggs have sat in this pot, in this fridge, for six weeks. And then everyone drinks it. And to date, no one has gotten sick. Can science explain why? Well, the question we're really trying to answer is, if an egg were contaminated with salmonella, does the process of preparing the eggnog kill those salmonella? in the egg. To find out, Fischetti and another researcher, Raymond Shook, are running an experiment, starting with making a test batch of nog, same as they make every year, except with an extra ingredient, salmonella. Dozen eggs. The salmonella gets added into the eggs to mimic what would happen if you got a real bad egg. And we're going to add sort of the equivalent number of bacteria from uh, between one and ten bad eggs and we'll see what happens. And they'll take a sample. So then we'll add the uh, alcohol directly to the eggs. The alcohol concentration will be fairly high at that point. And is that sufficient to kill the salmonella in the egg before you add everything else to it? And another sample. We'll now add the light cream. Add the sugar to taste, but we're not going to taste take the heavy cream and whip it so it peaks. Don't forget the nutmeg. And voila, we have eggnog. All the samples will get rubbed on these special plates, and if there are salmonella left alive, they'll form visible colonies. Shook will take another sample of the nog a few weeks later to see if there are more or less bacteria. The plates are in. No argument. I mean, the result is the result. And here it is. Here's a sample of just egg and salmonella. So no alcohol was present yet. And as you might expect. So the number in there is, is quite high, millions. So that white stuff? And that's just a lawn of bacteria. Uh, after we add the alcohol, we get a um, modest reduction. A day later, the eggnog is still chock full of salmonella. A week later, there are fewer, but still a lot of bacteria definitely not drinkable. And then? Then we plated it out at the three-week time point, and what we see is nothing. This is complete sterilization. So somewhere between one and three weeks, you get sterilization. Which means that this once contaminated nog, three weeks later, is now theoretically drinkable. We were talking about, you know, doing the, uh, the ultimate test there, but we decided against it. In conclusion, this study, sample size of one, suggests that if you follow the Lansfield recipe and let the nog sit in a fridge for more than three weeks, the damage caused by your eggnog won't be salmonella related, at least. So it's safer to let it sit than it is to, to drink it right away. But if you want to be really safe, there's always this. Cheers from Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.